All right, Zay Flowers had 246 snaps in the slot, 462 snaps out wide. He had 124 targets, 78 catches, with a reception rate or a catch rate of 62.9, totaling 1,177 yards, 12 TDs, 13.8 yards per catch. Had nine drops this season, seven contested catches out of 12 chances with a 58.3% contested catch rate. And if you look at his chart, most of his damage was done kind of in that same realm as Josh Downs. The 0 to 10 yards over the middle, 27 of 41, 283 yards, 4 TDs. Kind of a similar player to, to Josh Downs, but let's get into the film. If this is your first time here, do me a favor and like the video. And after you like it, if you like the content, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you can be notified when the rest of these 2023 draft pros prospects drop. Now that we got that out the way, let's dive into this Zay Flowers film. First game versus Clemson. See him spot, spot shadow right there. And this is probably one of the few clips where I saw him kind of covered. The little stutter didn't work. And the DB is in great position. You know, they, they throw it to him, and DB makes a good play on the ball. It's good good defensive play. I didn't see him cover too much the rest of this, the four games I watched. Not much at all. Let's go to the next play. And again, versus Clemson. If we ever get to it. There we go. Top of your screen. They use him in that, that, that formation a lot. He's lined up right there close to the line. Got him a little over route. But watch this. Being able to make guys miss. Dude didn't even touch him. Well, yeah, he did touch him. But still, the ability to do that, and, you know, you got coaches out there that can get you in space, but once you get in space, it's on you. And this is what you need, guys, that can make guys miss. Because that's five. That's ten extra yards by making one guy miss. And that, that stuff matters in the league, you know, because every, every inch counts in the league. And that's ten extra yards right there. That could be a difference between – um. You know, a third and six being a first down, extending the drive, or a clutch fourth down or something like that because it was a little shallow throw. But him being able to make people miss is, is what you need, a skill that you need. Top your screen right there. This is crazy. This play is just certified nuts. He wanted to throw it, couldn't throw it. So now I'm just going to run it. Good block by the quarterback. And watch this body control to stay in bounds. That is nuts. So much so that we can see it from the, the, the back view. Just a little bubble, a little quick screen that he was eventually going to throw it. Had two options to throw it. I tried to throw it to 80 right there. That didn't work. Now I'm going to come across the field. I'm going to throw it to this dude. Ain't work. So I'm going to just try to get in the end zone now. Push that about to eight. Body control all the way to the end zone. With the wherewithal to reach for the pylon and get it in. That, that's special right there. That's that's a special skill set. I think now we're going to get into a little more of his route running. I think from on this one right here. He's double covered now. Runs a post corner. I mean, a corner post. He's double covered. Look at that. Guy on the inside going to the outside. Watch this. Moss. Moss. Just went over the top of the guy. I'd be so embarrassed, embarrassed if I was those two safeties. Keep in mind, this dude, what, 5'7", 5'8", 5'10"? You know, I was joking, but the 5'7". Go up and get it, big fella. On your head, which is literally on his head. And with the kids, they be tapping it, tapping their head like that. That's big time right there. It's big time. Let's move on. Keep it pushing. He's going to run a, the, the corner post again. And watch how I'm turning the safety around. They got a matched up versus the safety. Uh, uh. Got that man in no man's land. Everybody can't run routes like that. 
Everybody don't have the ability to stick that foot in the ground and, and keep the same speed. And watch them. Uh. Now just run away from them. Cat can run routes, man. He stays open. Verse, and the thing is, ain't no help on the other side. He is the dude. So they, they know where the ball going, you know, most 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 of the time. Ain't there is no no relief on the other side. He's the guy. And this is versus uh NC State. Number three receiver. Now what he's gonna do is he run a little deep over. But what he's gonna do, he's gonna push that thing vertical to create more room. They're gonna cut it across the safety face and get away from the DB that's in cover one. Easy. Because the guy that's right with him ain't the guy that's really holding him. Unless they're trying to bracket him. And I don't know if they may be trying to bracket him. They may be trying to double him. And the guy that let him cross his face was screwed up. But he pushed it up the field to kind of put him in no man's land. And now he broke it hard across his face. So now it, it turns from a double team to an individual, you know, one-on-one. -on -one, and he wins that. Easy. Just breaks across the guy's face. He gets a good ball from the QB too. Now there's a lot of times he didn't get a good ball from the QB. That was a lot. His numbers, I think, would be off the chain had he played on a better team. Coming in motion right there. Again, running a little, you know, shallow. Make guy miss. Outrun another guy. To the crib. The ability to make people miss. You can take those little short, quick, shallow routes and turn them into turn them into this. But you gotta have some uh 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 some pep. -pep. You got to have that. And he got it. Not only can he, it helps him with route running too. Made him miss. Destroyed that angle. And just explode to the end zone. Explodes to the end zone. Good job by 13 of blocking down the field for him. I love it. I love when your teammates celebrate your success. Now versus Wake. I love that. I love that double move. Look at him win. Destroyed the cornerback. Didn't get a good ball, though. But watch the stutter. <clears throat> so hard that he made pellets come up. The DB jumped it. Well, not jumped it, but the DB got flat feet. Because he thought something was finna come. He thought a break was finna happen. In or out. The DB got flat foot and it's over with now. Went right by him without being touched. Now we just need a good ball from the QB, which we don't get. That's a great route, though. Great route. Just a crappy throw by the QB. This man ended up in a kicking net. That's how bad the throw is. Let's move on to the next one. But you got to respect his cuts because he run good routes, so they had to respect it. Get the bottom of the screen. Oh, I didn't even point out where he was. He down at the bottom. I'm sorry. This is Zay right here. Watch how he turned his cornerback around. Watch, watch, watch 23 right here, or 22, whatever number this is. Watch how he turned him around. He's trying to play outside leverage. Turns his back to him, and he gets in that blind spot. His, his number 12's back is to Zay Flowers. Zay realizes it, sticks that right foot in the ground, and gets vertical on it. Boop. Now he don't have a clue where yet. It's over with. Now, he probably should have had a better throw, but the fact that he can make people miss, he did. And finished it off. Finished it off. Let's do one final play. Tripp said he's the number three guy. And he ran this route well. And I like it because he always would push in to get himself more room to, to run out to finish this sale route. Now, he, again, he gets another bad ball. But I just want to show his route running. Pushing in on this, this corner right here. And then going to stick that foot in the ground and spin it out. And he's going to be so wide open. So wide open. Look, another guy, another DB with his back turned to him. You watch, If you watch his tape, you see a lot a lot of DBs with their back turned to him because his route running is so good. Now, look how open he is. Look how open he is. Like right here. Let me point him out. This is A right here. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong screen. This is A right here. I did the quarterback right there. 
Neither one of them have anybody close to them, really. This ball is not completed. It's not completed at all. But again, I really just wanted to highlight <laughs> his, his playmaking ability. And let, let's let's dive into the scores for, for Zay Flowers because this is up there. And I, I'm really impressed. I was so happy I was able to find these four games because I was struggling trying to trying to get them. And I almost didn't even do them because I didn't want to go back to and do a full 2021 20, film. Let's get into the scores for Zay Flowers. And as you know, everything is out of 80. But before we get into the scores, remember, like the video. If you like the content you've seen so far, consider subscribing and hit the bell so you can be notified when the rest of these 2023 draft videos drop. Hands, 74 out of 80. Routes and releases, 73 out of 80. IQ, game IQ. Football intelligence, so to, so to speak. 20, I'm sorry, 76 out of 80. Game speed, 78 out of 80. And yak ability, 74 out of 80, which comes up to be a 75 even, which puts him as the number two receiver in my in my group so far. I was really impressed by Zay Jones being 5'10", 172 pounds. Um, little man playing a big, big man's game. I really appreciate his game. I was really surprised at what I saw because I didn't see any Boston College games this year. And I know everybody was talking about Zay Flowers, Zay Flowers, Zay Flowers. And I was like, yeah, right, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm not going back and watching no old games. Well, unless I have to, 2021. But I, I came across four of his games, and I'm glad that I did. And he's the number two receiver on my list right now behind JSN. So I appreciate you guys for coming through. Uh, remember, we're pushing to get more Patreons and pushing people to use the tip jar from my stream elements and, and stream yard and kind of pull away from the super chats and whatnot and the members. So this is going to be the last month for the members. So if you, if you're a member on YouTube, please consider taking that subscription over to Patreon. I would appreciate it. And we are just going to try to grow from Patreon and from the, the tip, uh, the donation jars and they, they it's from stream elements and other things, but you'll see them on the screen. And just as long as you stay tuned to different stuff coming up, you'll see them and they'll be more prevalent, but I appreciate everybody for coming through. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Zay Flowers, number two receiver so far. Coach Evans out. Peace.